Here's the question I got asked. How can I take my resume and make it a publicly accessible document so that I can share it in the right places to create value for me in my job search? I'm going to show you a couple ways you can take a resume and make it accessible through a URL. First of all, here's my Word document. This is my test resume. Now, I've already saved this on my computer and in my download folders. I've made sure my resume looks the way it looks, says what I want it to say, and I've already saved it to my computer. So I don't need Word anymore. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to quit Word. Now, I've come back to my Windows, my, excuse me, my Mac Finder and my Downloads folder. And this would be exactly the same thing in a, on a PC when you're looking at, what's it called, Windows Explorer. There's my resume right there in my Downloads folder. Now, two ways that you can make this publicly accessible to others. Number one, through, by a URL. Number one is you can put this in Dropbox. Now, if you have Dropbox connected to your computer, like I do right here, all I've got to do is grab the resume from the Downloads folder, go over to Dropbox, hover over it, scroll down to the folder I want to put it in, there's temp right there, and put it in that folder. Now, if you don't have Dropbox connected to your computer, then you need to go get into Dropbox on the web browser, and then you can go back to uh, the, either uh, Mac Finder or Windows Explorer, grab that document, and then just simply drop it on top of Dropbox in the web browser, and you'll see it's uploading it right there, and I can actually copy the link from it right there, where I'll show you that I can also just, you just click on the document right there, and then I can go to the share button and when I hit the share button I can say anyone with this link can view it and then I can uh, create and copy the link right there and now I have the link done through the uh, Dropbox web browser which by the way is very similar to going to Dropbox going down here to that temp folder and there's the resume right there right click copy the Dropbox link now, once I have it in Dropbox, in the place I want, again, once I right-click and copy the Dropbox link, I can take that link anywhere I want. I can go open up a new web browser, paste that link in there, and you'll see, just like anyone else will be able to get access to it, they will be able to view your Dropbox and that file that you shared. And because I gave them the permission, they can download it, they can save it, they can copy to their Dropbox, whatever they want to do with that document that you just publicly shared. I can also, if I want to, I can go to LinkedIn. I can add that. I'm looking at my uh, personal profile on LinkedIn. I can add that, add a profile section, go to recommend, uh, go to additional. I can put it as a publication. You know, Teddy's resume right here. By the way, type this in very specifically. Teddy Burris is the publisher. The date is, I click in this field. I can say it's today's date. And there's where I put the Dropbox URL. And in the description field, you get 2,000 characters. You really want to tell the viewer what is this document that they're looking at. Write this content, as I'm just putting text in here for the sake of showing you. Write this content so it's easy to read. And the first two lines need to be highly relevant to the viewer. So that when you save this, let me put the word test up here. When you save this as a publication on your LinkedIn profile, now when I go to publications, you'll see right here it is. And right there, I can click on it and it's going to open my resume that I already put in Dropbox. So if I click on that or if anybody clicks on it, it's going to open it up in Dropbox just as if I handed them that URL directly. Now, one other thing you can do with it on LinkedIn is I'm going to go get rid of that and clean it up. Give me a second to do that. I could also, if I wanted to on my LinkedIn, is I could have added it up here on Featured section. I could hit the plus right here, add a link, put the link in right there, hit Add. Now again, just as I was adding it to the publication, I have the ability to tell the viewer, wait for it to load, now I have the ability to change the title. I don't want to use a file name, Teddy Burris Professional 
uh, LinkedIn trainer and coach resume. And then again, I have space in here. I think it's 500 characters that I can put text in here. Let me see if it, how far it goes. Yeah, 500 characters. So I can put text in there telling the viewer what they're seeing. Again, you want to make it easy to read so that, it, so that they will read it. And then there's my thumbnail. I could change the thumbnail when I add a featured document or featured media. I can change the image if I want to. And then I hit save. And it now adds my resume with the text I wanted to add to the featured section, which is the first big graphical section of your LinkedIn profile. If you decide you don't want that there, hit the pencil, come down here and hit delete and delete. Now, I showed you how to do this with Dropbox. It is exactly the same thing if you decide to use Google Drive. And when I decide to use Google Drive, again, I go to the folder I want to put it into, and then I hit New, I do File Upload, I go get that document that's in the Download folder, hit Open, and you'll see it, because I have mine set up to convert, that it uploaded that document right there, and it's converted it to a Google Docs file. If I don't want it to be a Google Docs before I upload it, I have to go to Settings over here in Google Drive, and I have to uncheck this so they don't convert. I prefer to have them convert, but you don't have to. And then once you've uploaded it either as a Word doc or converted it to a Google Docs, now what I can do is I can hit say I can hit Share, and when I hit the Share button here, or I hover and hit the Share button there, now what I need to do is I can either share it directly with individuals, but if I want to make a URL that anybody can get to, I come down here to General Access, I say anyone with the link, I can give them viewer, commenter, or editor. If you're sharing your resume, just give them viewer. Now I can copy the link, I can hit done. Now everything I showed you using Dropbox URL, I can do exactly the same thing with a Google Drive URL. Again, because I made it anybody the link can get access to it. I can make it, I can go show you it's publicly accessible to anybody. I just there's the URL. And now I can also show you that I can go over here and I can add it as featured media. I can add it as a publication to my LinkedIn profile. I can take this URL. I can put it in an email message. I can send someone an email message and I can say, you know, here is my resume for your review. Paste that URL in there and I can send this to anybody I want to send it to. Be very deliberate. Put your resume either in Dropbox or Google Drive or Box, wherever you want to put it so you can manage it and you can manage access to it. And then once you create that URL, again, you can put it on your LinkedIn profile, on your website. You can share it as a public document on uh, Quora or Facebook or Twitter, wherever you want to publicly share it. But be deliberate about sharing it, most importantly, so that the right people can get access to it so that it can create value for them as well as for yourself in your career search. I'm Teddy, your Google Doc, Docs guy, your Dropbox, and your LinkedIn guy, and I hope this is helpful for you.